Hello, and welcome to a special Thursday edition of Puppy Hours. Um, we're going to let people join in for a bit, and then we'll get started. All right, we'll let uh, a few people join in. But we are here on Thursday today, a special day for puppy hours. Usually we have puppy hours on Friday. Um, I am taking time off, so uh, puppy hours will be a special Thursday edition. And it's fitting because today is Blue's half birthday. Um, he's growling. So I'm going to see if I can get him a toy. I thought he was sleepy. I'm gonna get him a toy. Oh. Hey, I got you something. You want this? Remember, you use your paw. You're right there. And then you use your mouth. Good boy. Hey, or you could use this one. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Or do you want this one? Which one? You want this one? Which one do you want? Do you want to go back to sleep? It's okay. You don't have to choose right now. Okay. So like I said, we are here on special Thursday for puppy hours. Um, I am taking tomorrow off um, to enjoy some sunshine. Uh, it, is, it makes sense because today is Blue's half birthday. So we are going to be doing this live stream as a special half birthday for him. Um, not, no real plans for that, just doing what we usually do. We can see we have changed locations. Welcome to our guest bedroom. I have converted our guest bedroom into my makeshift office for, for the corona occasion. And so I'll be here for the time being. Yeah, but you need to stay on the bed though, but you can keep, you can use the entire bed. The entire bed is yours. Hey, I want you to lay down. Ready? Wee! Good boy. There you go. Do you want this? No one wants to see just your legs, pal. Come here. Come here. There you go. All right. Well, we'll see if we'll play for this for a minute, but feel free to uh, drop your questions down below. Um, we'll just be hanging out for a little bit. Some other things you should be aware of. So just like puppy hours is a special Thursday night edition tonight, or Thursday morning edition tonight. Um, game night tonight will also be different. It'll be on Thursday instead of t uh, tomorrow night. But that will be that will be t uh, tonight at six o'clock. We'll be playing Hangman again. Um, we try to do tic tac toe, um, where we would put treats on every square. Um, and Blue would pick a square, and that's the that's the one he would put his X in. But he just ate all the treats at once, so that didn't really work out that well. Um, so we will be playing Hangman again. Hey Blue, stay here. Blue, you got to stay up here. Good boy. You want to take a naps? Or do you want to play? Here. You want to change your bed phone? If you've been watching our last few puppy hours, you might have noticed that Blue sleeps a lot less and plays a lot more. And so puppy hours has been 
all over the place. Here you go. You want this one? I'll hold it for you. I'm going to go get his other pin and bone because he doesn't seem to want that one. Instead, he wants my hand. So I'm going to go out to the other room real quick and we'll see if he stays here, but I'm going to get him another pin and bone. Stay there, Blue. Stay. Good job, Blue. Way to stay on the bed. Hey, look at all these. Good boy. That's my dog. All right. So we'll see if he stays there for a bit. And uh, that way I can give my attention back to you guys for a minute. <laughs> Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome to Thursday edition of Puppy Hours. Yes, usually those th these are on Friday mornings. Um, hello from the Philippines. Awesome. Uh, I'm taking tomorrow morning off. I'm going to spend some time with my family in blue here on a nice day outside. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, and that also means that game night has been switched to tonight as well. So we're not canceling game night tomorrow. We're still doing game night. Um, we'll be playing Hangman. We tried Tic Tac Toe, where Blue would pick the pick the pick the, his X location based off of the treat he chose on the board, uh, but he just ate all the treats at once. So Tic Tac Toe is a no go um, for tonight's game night. So we are going back to Hangman. I have already picked our two uh, our two different puzzles to try to get uh, for you guys. So we'll see how you guys do with Hangman. Uh, but be sure to join us on that on Instagram Live this evening at 6 p.m. So at the Butler Blue on Instagram, uh, what we'll do is you can request to be a part of the live. Um, and then I'll bring you on. You can guess a letter. And it's a lot of fun. Game night is my favorite part of the week for sure. You also might have noticed if you are a Puppy Hours regular, we are in a different location and I will show you off some of the different cool things in this room later. Uh, this is my butler room here in our apartment, uh, which means all of my cool butler memorabilia is in this room. You might be able to see the first piece right here is that little Final Four banner. That's pretty cool. And you'll see behind blue here, right there on that dresser, is our makeshift sticker giveaway location. So all the stickers that we give away, all of the envelopes that it takes, all the stamps, that type of stuff are located right there.
Hi, Clovis. Yes. What? Don't you want your bone? Don't you want your bone? There you go. Yeah, but here's the thing: when you you yeah, you go back, back it, back it up. There you go. At a kid. Hi, Lee Bulldog. Blue is my only dog. Blue is actually my first ever dog, surprisingly enough. Um, I am really close with Butler Blue III, our current live mascot. Um, and so he's kind of like Blue's brother. Um, but Blue is the only dog living in this home. And that's how it'll be. One Bulldog is, is great for me. Um, Pam, he did not want to get out of bed. Um, so obviously he's in the bed right now. He's in our, our spare bedroom that I've converted into my home office. Um, but he was, um, sorry that I got a text. I got distracted from being completely honest. Uh, he was in the other bed with Kennedy and he would not get up. I had to lift him up, put him in this bed, which obviously wasn't as warm. So I put down this fancy fuzzy blanket and he stayed for a little bit and then he got upset. And so now I had to get him his toys. So if you did see on his Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, it is his half birthday. So we did get him that cake. So he will be digging into that at some point today. Obviously not the whole thing. Him some of that, uh, some of that birthday cake from bakery we got him peanut butter flavored um and so he will be digging into that so be sure to check out his instagram story his facebook story later today for that um we'll see how that goes dude's a messy eater so he just get he got half a cake for his half birthday obviously um and so pickles his sister was was able to get the other half so we'll see if pickles chew on that a little bit later as well Trying to think of any other updates from him. He did a few other Butler bounds earlier this week, surprising some uh, students who actually deposited and will be going to Butler. Uh, they, they were able to give us that good news. Uh, so we did that uh, a few other days ago. Uh, if you want to check out Trips Tales, uh, Butler Blue the Third, our current live mascot, um, he and Pops, they did bedtime story last night for the first time. And so they, they hopped on Facebook Live and read Good Boy Blue, which is the official children's book of the live mascots here at Butler. And so they did that, and they'll be doing more of those here in the future, some other dog-themed uh, books in the future. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. But that is still archived on Facebook. Um, you can go to either of the dogs. So Blue is at The Butler Blue on Facebook. And then uh, Tripsters is on good as at Butler Blue 3 the number three on Facebook, and you can see the archive video of that uh, book reading, and it was an awesome time.
blue hazmat cats. Um, absolutely. So there's been a couple. Um, my parents have two cats. I grew up with cats my whole life, and I don't have anything against cats. Uh, I do I like dogs better. Uh, so we had a plethora of cats growing up, and I was pretty attached to them. Um, the last one from my childhood passed away a few months ago, and so my parents got two new kittens a few months after that, Gus Gus and Jack Jack, um, named after, obviously, Gus Gus from Cinderella and Jack Jack from The Incredibles. Um, and so they are, I believe, they probably are about a year old now, and Blue has met them a few times before um, we weren't able to go back due to coronavirus. So he met them a few times. Blue wanted to play with them. He didn't, didn't wasn't really aggressive with them. Um, he probably seemed aggressive to them, but he just wanted to play. Um, so he did that for a little bit, and they, they ran around my parents' house a little bit. And then every um, Cityway Animal Clinic, there are, I believe, three of them. Fall Creek, Fountain Square, Mass Ave. Yep. And they're opening a new one, Irvington. Each one has a cat, um, a cat mascot. And so Mass Ave has um, Mac the Cat for Mass Ave Clinic. Um, Creek, Fall Creek has Creek the Cat. And then Fountain Square has Square the Cat. And so he's met, um, he's met Mac for sure. He's met... He's definitely met Creek at Fall Creek. I don't know if he's met uh, Square from Fountain Square Animal Clinic yet, um, but he loves them. He loves cats. He just wants to play with them, but the cats don't ever want to play with him. The closest he's got was Creek. Creek's my favorite cat from Fountain or from Fall Creek. Um, he's got a really big head, and it's hilarious, and he's really cuddly and personable. What? <laughs> There's nothing out there. There's it's literally nothing out there. Hey, Bluesters. Well, I'm going to go check on that. I don't know what that was about. Let's go see. What's up, pal? There's nothing out there. See? No, nothing. Okay, you got to go back to your legs, dude. There you go. Okay. Hey, are you chewing on that? I think you should keep chewing on that. There you go. Do you want do you want this one? There you go. Sometimes it seems as if toys for Blue here are like USBs on your computer. When you try one end, it doesn't work, so you flip it, it doesn't work. But then you flip it back to the side you already had, and it works again. It's like the toys. Like, well, that side didn't work. He didn't want that side. So you give him the other side. He didn't want that one. And then the side you originally gave him, he wants it. How about this one again? There you go. Remember what we said. Use your paw. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here. Hey, Blue, you need to stay on the bed, please. Should we take this time, Blue, to show them all the cool butler stuff in this room? Why you're being up and moving? Why you get settled here? Unless you're gonna sit down. Are you gonna sit down?
It's easier if you lay down with it, right? If you sit, yep. There you go. You lay down with it, remember? There you go. There you go. Green Gypsy Bird Poppy has not found a family yet. So if you're curious what that is, if you hurry to Blue's Instagram story after this, I should be still on there or Facebook story. Um, I posted that Blue's mom had another, um, or not Blue's mom, uh, Blue's breeder had another um, litter. And so um, you can check her out there. And uh, Puppy's name is Poppy that is available. Um, so you can check her out there and if you are interested, feel free to DM blue and I can get you in contact with the breeder. So Poppy, she is really cute. She is eight weeks old. Oh, sorry, boosters. So stay tuned till the end here because we still get to see all of the cool butler memorabilia that some of this stuff I can guarantee you is one of a kind. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Um, so that will be closer to the end. Uh, I'll show you all of my cool butler memorabilia in the butler room as well as we'll give Blue here some T-R-E-A-T-S's for his birthday. So we'll give him to that. Um, bon Appetit, the dining service at Butler, was nice enough to uh, drop off some treats for um, for him. So they handmade him specifics. Uh, they remembered that he loves cheese, and so they made him some cheesy treats. So we'll be giving those to him later. Oh, hello. What's up, buddy? Those are your keys. Would you like them on the bed? Here you go. Hey, you want them? There you go. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, you can have them, but remember, they go sit. Good. Good job. They go.
Yes. You hopped off the bed. Now people can't see you. No, I don't have any treats in my pocket. You should probably go back up on the bed. Please don't eat the camera. Please don't, please don't. <laughs> Hold on.
you want your duck? I'll take you back up there. Show everybody. He loves this duck. He got this duck as a present from his breeder uh, on the day of his changing of the collar ceremony. So he loves this thing. He likes to go nuts with it. So he'll play like this for a while and then there'll be a point where he no longer wants to play tug of war with it and he wants to suckle on it. So we'll see whenever that is. And he'll be sure to let me know. Oh, you want your penguin? This is also a gift from his breeder. Again, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Otherwise, we'll just let Blue here play with toys and leave it at that. I do want to give another reminder that game night is tonight at 6 p.m. on Instagram Live. I will be playing Hangman, Butler-themed Hangman. And so that will be a lot of fun. We'll be giving out tons of prizes for that. Uh, speaking of prizes, if you stay around for a few more minutes, I'll be showing you around the Butler Blue home office. Um, which has some pretty cool butler memorabilia that is hard to find other places. So we'll be showing that off a little bit later on, closer to the end here at 10.
Hey, did you hear about this? This was his first ever toy. This little bone right here. He still loves it. So there'll come a point where he's tired of me playing with him and he'll just lay down and chew on his toys again. And so we'll see if that's happening here soon or not. Don't eat the blanket. No. Blue. Good. Don't eat that blanket. Nope, stop. Okay, do you want this? There you go. Gotcha. Pam, he does not keep his harness on 24-7. When he's awake, he totally does. Um, just it's, it's where he attaches his leash to. It's just easier. Um, it's a pretty nice harness. We love it a lot. It's available at the Butler Bookstore. Um, for some reason, it's not online, but if you give them a call, um, they can help you out, and they can that you can order it there. Um, he does not wear it to sleep. Um, he does not wear it when he's in his uh, crate. Um, he's all natural in there, so... So that it doesn't get caught on anything just to keep him safe. Um, and then obviously after bath time, before he dries off, we uh, take it off of him. Well, somebody wants to play. And now he's laying down on the floor. Do you want to play? Oh, yeah. We got Zooms. We got Zooms. Hey, what'd you, what'd you find? Well... This might just be as good as time as any to uh, show you the Butler Blue home office while Blue is up and about. Um, give me a second here. I have to take my whole computer with me to show you. So welcome to the Butler Blue desk. Pretty fancy. So in, in those, uh, those tubs there are all the things that Blue might need on a daily basis. We'll, we'll give you a little look here what that might be. Well, the first thing that Bino Blue really wants are these treats. So these are from Bon Appetit. Um, hey, calm down. I got you one. So these are little, hey, stop it so I can show them. Little cheesy treats from Bon Appetit. I'm going to break it in half for them because it's a little big. Um, so we got those, which was super nice. So that is our from our dining, our dining services here. Butler made him some special treats. Some other random things in here you might recognize from some past posts include his Easter pajamas, his Easter basket. Um, this is going to make you real sad. So you'll see that he has his little vanity here um, with his big jersey. But then, of course, are his past jerseys. So we have his little jersey right there, his first ever jersey. There's his second ever jersey, and then, of course, his current jersey that still fits to this day right there. So you can see the size differences there. So he wore this when he was five weeks old. He wore this when he was nine weeks old, and then he, wore, he wears this now at six months old. So quite the big jump in size there. Um, same letter B on all of them. But another cool thing we have in here kind of in the wings waiting for him is his big boy B. So still a little small, but eventually he will be getting his own jersey, just like Trip, And so we'll have that in there. We have a one of his collars here with a bow tie. 
the post dies on there from um, his birthday post since today is his half birthday. He has this cute hoodie here um, that Chewie bought him. Here is an interesting fact. So you'll see right here is his harness clips right here in the in the top. Also, sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and make sure that the dog's not getting all the streets. So the, the leash goes right here, uh, but there's no hole in the jerseys. We want the jerseys to stay as complete as possible. So this different harness right here, this clips in the front and can be fed out of the neck of the jersey. So we use this uh, when he's out and about wearing his jersey. Fun fact about this little coat, it never fit. It was too big or too small when I picked him up. So that's fun. And then of course, extra leashes, extra collars for whenever he wears out of those. Here's a little baby Benabone from his first ever Benabone package. Remember that? There you go. Yeah, have fun with that. And then of course, his first ever rawhide bone as well. So that's what's in his little uh, trinket box here. There's random things like his hairbrush and his bandana and a bunch of Benabones bones that he hasn't had yet um, that we're just kind of waiting to make sure he uh, spaces them out. Hey, hey, Bloosters. Hey, hey, you there. Hey, no, don't eat the hanger. Oh, crazy dog. Here, you can eat this. All right, so that's what's in his little box of things there for his home office. Um, the rest is really my stuff. One is obviously um, actually just our DVD boxes. So all of our DVDs are in one of them, including Hoosiers. It's an appropriate one to have up front there. All right, what else can we show them, Blue, within our home office? Just some random things we have here or there that you might recognize from our days on campus. Um, there is our basketball we use as props. There is Blue's Gatorade bottle uh, that is specific to him. And so he and Chip have separate Gatorade bottles, you know, keeping the hygiene safe. All of our vlog gear is right there. All of the um, label making supplies for our um, sticker giveaways. Jedi Starfighter on Legos. There we go. All right, Blue, come on. We're going to go show them the stickers first. All right, before we get into the cool memorabilia, Here's our little sticker giveaway location. So if you want a sticker, this is where it gets all packaged up. So you'll see we have quite the spread here of different stickers. Uh, we have him right here at four months old with the basketball that you saw over there at the desk, the Butler and Live Mascot program logos. Some trip stickers are in there from uh, One Last Trip, some shiny ones. Of course, the live mascot trading cards. I don't know why it's so blurry, but it is. And then we have the autograph cards with the poster underneath it. May I help you? And of course, like our Instapots in our guest bedroom because, you know, guest bedroom. Yes, may I help you? Don't eat that. Please don't eat it. Okay. Now on to this Butler memorabilia. Let me see the best way to do this. And so I'm gonna put the, this right here. I gotta open up the uh, the secret cabinet here. So there's been certain things that I've collected over my time at Butler as a student and now a staff member that are pretty unique. So I thought I'd show those to you now. So up here on in my entire little trophy case here, we have the official bobbleheads for Butler Blue the second, Butler Blue the third, and now Butler Blue the fourth. And so you can still get the Butler Blue the third here and the Butler Blue the fourth bobbleheads now at the Bobblehead Hall of Fame. So you can just Google bobble, Bobblehead Hall of Fame and you can get those there. They're pretty awesome. Another cool thing behind here, behind the dogs there, uh, are the mini basketballs from the 2002, 2010, and 2011 Final Fours and their little bears that went with them. So. Uh, obviously, the 2010 and the 2011 being from from Butler's trips to the national championship. Uh, my parents went to IU, so we also went to the 2002 one in Atlanta. I'm sorry, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, look at these two other ones from Butler. Super cool. And of course, the ticket lanyards from all three of those. 
some random baseball memorabilia that's not Butler. We have the Butler Blue Three or Butler Blue Four Lego figure that is now in here as well. And then the last cool piece of memorabilia for me at least is well, there's the Spartan helmet I used to wear as as a dog pound student section member. Uh, but that bone back there, that bone was the bone that I held for Trippy for my senior day. So my very last time holding the bone as a student, that is the bone that Trip ran down the court to get uh, my last time ever. So that is the one of a kind Butler memorabilia that I have here in my apartment and in my little home office for, for the time being. One other cool thing I forgot to mention up here, uh, remember when Trip ran for president with Georgetown Jack? Um, that, these are, I believe, three out of the six posters that we produced. And they're all based off of um, old campaign posters. So um, you can check those all out there. Actually, so these, the two on the left or on the right there, it, it like mirrored for me. Those two on the right or on the, yeah, on the right. Um, those are obviously from past presidents, but the one on your far right or far left, that one is from Parks and Recreation. So that is a, a redo of Leslie Nopes for um, for city council. So that's a little fun fact there. And so I got those framed up. And yeah, I think that's all besides the obvious Butler themed pillows. So that is our home office that we have been operating out this week. So we were in the in the living room for a bit. And then I was able to get some other supplies to make it a little easier to be in the guest bedroom here. And now that's where we are. At least for the time being until things return back to normal. So I'm going to let Blue here get his drink, and then I'll see if he'll he'll get on the bed for the last here 10 minutes of puppy hours. Uh, be sure to, if you have any questions, to ask them in the comments, and I am happy to answer any of them, any of them at all. He, another fun thing is when he drinks, um, he drinks like this very long for, for a very long time. He drinks almost the whole bowl and then um, he doesn't drink for hours. So he just drinks and drinks and drinks all at once and leaves it alone. Pam will probably give him his cake probably around lunchtime. Um, Kennedy is off doing one of the... Uh, the parades, like you see those car parades for people's birthdays. One of her co-workers is retiring today, so she is off doing that right now. So we'll want her to be back for that. Um, but yes, you will guarantee that we're going to let him dig into that cake. All right, we'll see if we can get him in on the bed for the last 10 minutes here. Oh, ooh, look at this, pal. Come here. Hey. Up there. There you go. Good boy, you found it. If you are a current Butler student, good luck on finals. I know today is the officially the second day of finals, so good luck. We know you're prepared. You got this. Hey, you want this one back? What about this one? You want the bamboo? No, you're not having any more treats. No more. Nope. You had plenty and you're getting a whole cake later. So you gotta, you gotta stop. Show them the treats at how. Would you like this bone? There you go.
we need to give you some more IT tier state enrollment today. Leave it. No more treats, pal. Sorry. You've had totally enough. See, I'm going to put them away. No more. Sorry. You've had plenty. Hey, hey, you can't have any more treats. No more. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Blue. That's all he's doing. Just trying to get off so we can get more treats. Now you're just going to sit and look out the window. I mean, that's cool. Just letting everybody see the mess of our bookshelf. Pam, that's a good question. She asks when school resumes, will Trip still come to campus with Michael so he can hang out? Um, every once in a while. So Trip will not be coming in every single day like he was. That will be Blue's job now. Blue will be taking over official mascot duties here soon. So Blue will be coming in every day at the office. Um, but we're good friends with the Colton Marks. And I'll still sit right next to Michael every single day. Um, and so they'll still see each other regularly. But Trip is retiring. So he is going to need that extra time to rest, recuperate, and enjoy, enjoy life. So um, he won't be in every single day. That will be Blue's job. What you smelling, pal? Come over here. Go smell over here. I got something for you. There you go. And Trip will be staying with the cult marks. That is one, one thing that has been asked a few times. So Trip lives with the cult mark family. He has their whole life. Um, he will continue that. Just same with Blue. So Blue lives with me 24-7. He is basically my dog. Um, he just also has a job to do. So when Blue retires here in seven to eight to nine years, he will still remain with our family.
So we have about two minutes left here, puppy hours. So I'll just give our usual daily announcements. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our new location of our guest bedroom slash office slash blues closet. Um, tonight at 6 p.m. we will be hosting puppy or game night at blues. Um, so we will be doing, this is our fourth week now of game night. Um, our first week we did Hangman, second week Bingo. Last week we did Trivia, which was great. Uh, this week we we're thinking of doing Tic-Tac-Toe, kind of like that viral video where you saw um, uh, the dog pick the treat, and then um, that was their location that they put their X or the O. Hey, don't eat the plant. Don't eat the plant. Don't eat the plant. Nope. No plants. There you go. Um... But the issue with that was uh, Blue ate all the treats at one time, so it was impossible to decipher which um, which X he was going to. So I might look into um, a different way to do that next week, maybe if it's like smearing peanut butter on a dry erase board or something like that so we can play tic-tac-toe. Uh, but we scrambled and we're going to do Hangman again um, for fourth week of game night. So be sure to hang that out 6 p.m. for game night, Hangman, Butler-themed. We give away ow, so many prizes. We gave away like 12 sticker packs last week for just four rounds. Um, so be sure you are watching for game night. Um, be sure to follow Blue here on all of his social media. He is the Butler Blue on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Of course, you already found the, the YouTube channel that he's Uncle Trip. Speaking of Uncle Trip, you can find him at Butler Blue 3 on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much, everybody. We hope you have a remarkable weekend. Um, we will see you again. We'll be on social media. I'll be taking tomorrow off, but we will always be on social media. So be sure to check us out there. And as always, go dogs.